What's up, y'all? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy 15 Moves Ahead coming to you with another video. Hey, look, right? I want to dive right in, right? You know, I've been getting a lot of comments, right? Quite a few of y'all done emailed me. Quite a few have had their one-on-ones with me. Free consultations. Go check me out at www.50movesahead.com. Listen, book your consultation. It's free, man. We can talk about a lot of things, put together a plan, you know. All things Robert Green when it comes down to what we're talking about, right? Listen, this video is going to answer a lot of questions. This video is going to provide context. In this very video, you are about to gain the one answer, that piece of knowledge, that gem, that spark you need when you say to yourself, how do I put all this stuff together? I don't care what book you read, in Art of Seduction, 48 Laws of Power, Laws in Human Nature, Mastery, 50 of Law, Daily Law, 33, it doesn't matter. This video will show you what you need to do, how you need to do it, and what you should be looking forward to when it comes down to playing the game of power, seduction, mastery, strategy, etc. I need you to grab your 33 Laws, your, excuse me, 33 Laws. I need you to grab your 33 strategies of war and let's go to the preface and let's look at page XXI. Page XXI in the preface, Roman numeral for 21. You read on the bottom paragraph, you're going to read this. Finally, strategy is an art that requires not only a different way of thinking, but an entirely different approach to life itself. Too often, on one hand, in our actual experience on the other, we absorb trivia and information that takes up mental space, but gets us nowhere. We read books that divert us, but have little relevance to our daily lives. We have lofty ideas that we do not put into practice. We also have many rich experiences that we do not analyze enough, that do not inspire us with ideas, whose lessons we ignore. Strategy requires a constant contact between the two realms. It is practical knowledge of the highest form. Catch that. Events in life mean nothing if you do not reflect on them in a deep way. And ideas from books are pointless if they have no application to life as you live it. In strategy, all of life is a game that you are playing. This game is exciting but also requires deep and serious attention. The stakes are so high. What you know must translate into action and action must translate into knowledge. In this way, strategy becomes a lifelong challenge and the source of constant pleasure in surmounting difficulties and solving problems. <laughs> Look at this. So, more than likely, based on what we just read, there always seems to be a separation a gap between your ideas and knowledge on one hand and your actual experience on the other. Follow this now. It's about to get deep. You have books that you read that give you ideas, trivia. We absorb in all kind of information, social media, you know, all kind of research, people talking to us. We, we are constantly filling our heads with information and knowledge, but it's not practical to your life as you live it. But then over here, you have experiences in your life. You have experienced things. You have been through a lot of things in your life, but you are not reflecting on them. You are not analyzing your experiences. You are not doing introspection. You are not studying your own life in a way that will give you new ideas. You see, there must be constant contact between the two realms. These are the two realms right here. On one side is your ideas and knowledge. And on the other side is your actual experience. <laughs> the ability to combine these two is the highest form of knowledge, or as Robert Greene said it, it is practical knowledge of the highest form. So what is that practical knowledge of the highest form? The practical knowledge of the highest form 
is being able to look at the events in your life and study them in a deep way that they inspire you to go back over those situations in your life where you felt disappointed, where you felt defeated, those times in your life where you felt like you was all by yourself, where you felt everyone has given up on you, those times in your life where your back was against the wall and you had nothing else to hold on to stand up for, you had nothing but you, those moments in your life are the moments you need to sit to yourself and study them those same moments should inspire you with an inspiration those same you know events in your life should give you fresh ideas motivations and ambitions determinations and vision those very moments you are reflecting on should provide you with guidance but because you are not doing that, because you are not studying yourself, you're spending time studying everybody else. You are spending time taking in information that is not applicable. It could be philosophical, but it's not applicable. You are steady infusing yourself with information, videos, funny reels, sex reels, you know, uh, topless models and porn and all kind of other stuff you're just filling yourself up with but this is not applicable to your life so at the end of the day guess what you still had the same problems you got the same dilemmas you still had the same psychological setbacks you still suffering from the same habits the same addiction and you have yet to sit back and apply the knowledge you are imbibing because it's useless <laughs> And if you steady asking me, man, 50 moves ahead, you know, uh, how do I apply these books? You have the answer right there. Because in the preface of the 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene say the same thing about the double-faced Roman god Janus. One face of Janus looks to the past. I did a video on this. Now go back to my video and check this out. It's at the top of your screen. Check that video while I did on Janus. One face looked to the past. Robert Greene tell you in the 48 Laws of Power to go back and study your life because that is the most precious school you can study is your life. Yeah, I know I can study about, you know, historical characters, historical figures. I know I can read about, you know, Machiavelli and Napoleon Bonaparte and Alexander the Great. You know, I can study about all these people. That is fine and great. But when am I going to study me? I want to ask you a real question. When have you studied you? I'm looking you dead in your eyes. When have you studied you? When have you went deep and looked into you? I'm talking about studied you. Why did you say a certain thing at a certain time? What was the underlying influence that made you feel disrespected when that person walked by you? Or what made you feel less than when that girl walked out of your life? What was that one thing that that guy did to you that made you start thinking about a traumatic experience in the past? I need you to go deep on you. And only when you go deep on you will you be able to understand how to have contact between the two realms. Because... This is practical knowledge of the highest form. Let's go back to the image. We have ideals, books, and trivia on one side. Rich experiences on the other. But can you bring these two together? Can you take the information you are reading and apply it to your life and then take those same events from your life and, and those should inspire you with more ideals? It's not just about what we read. It's not just about the next great video, the next great reel, or the next great short. It's about what are you applying in your life. I used to be a person that was, you know, I used to think it was all or nothing in every area of my life. So when I became supervisor, manager, etc., I really didn't know how to hone that back. So I was firing a lot of people. I had a lot of people trying to get away from me because I didn't understand how to hone back that all or nothing mentality. But once I learned how to study me and I understood where did that inspiration come from, I began to understand what was it that made me feel it was either all or nothing. Then that gave me ideals. That very study inspired me with a higher way of thinking to say, you know what? I don't have to be so offensive in my approach. I can be a little bit of defensive. You know, defensive warfare. And if the time come, yeah, I can get unconventional all day long. 
but I can only get unconventional in dealing with people once I have studied myself and did self-directed warfare. So I'm trying to tell you the solution to your problem is your inability to combine your knowledge and your practical experience into one. <laughs> Think about it. I don't care what book you read, Atomic Habits, Never Be Lied To Again, you know, Speed Reading, or you know, The Art of How to Win Friends and Influence People, you know, The Seven Habits of, of you know, Highly Successful People. I don't care what book you read. If you cannot apply the knowledge from that book, it is useless. I don't care how many videos you watch. How can you sit there and watch and run through Instagram when your kids are hungry? How can you sit there and play games on a PS5 when your daughter hair ain't done, she need new shoes, and she going to school getting picked on because she's wearing dirty clothes? How can you sit there and focus on the next TikTok video when your spouse is having infidelity and trust issues with you? You have issues in your life, issues in your home, issues at your job that you need to focus on and take care of. But it's funny, you can spend more time with these useless ideas, reading these books, absorbing all this damn trivia, and it has no applicability to your life as you live it. But then you have a lifetime of experiences. Oh my God, you done been fired before. You done quit a job before. You done started your entrepreneurship journey and it failed. You have had times in your life where you thought that decision you made was going to be successful and it was a disaster. But you have not studied those one time. You have spent more time on Instagram than you have on studying yourself when you got fired from that job. You spend more time on TikTok than you do trying to understand why that venture you started that venture you believed in didn't work. You're not studying yourself. You're not studying your life to understand new ideas and then bring them same ideas back into your life. It's the ever revolving circle. Once you understand self-knowledge is the best knowledge. Why you think on top of the ancient temples or, you, you know, the ancient temples are like ancient Egypt and Greece and whatnot. At the entrance to the door, it said, man, know thyself. Know thyself. You have to know yourself. But if you don't know yourself, why is it that you're spending so much time trying to learn everybody else? That's that useless knowledge. You can tell me everything about Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. You can tell me who just won the NBA Finals. You can tell me the last time uh, 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 Tampa Bay got a Super Bowl. You can tell me all this stuff about sports. But you can't even tell me why you still got that smoking addiction or how you going to break it. You can't even tell me why you cannot get up at five o'clock in the morning. Why you so lazy and be hitting that damn snooze button. You can't even tell me why it is applicable information that you are reading. And you can't even tell me why those events in your life steady are steady going, pushed in the corner, knocked away. Don't you know in the darkest, in the darkest cave lies the greatest light. That very shadow you keep on running from, that very dark corner you keep on hiding from, contains the greatest light. But because we're not striving for that light, because we're not willing to go into that cave, that darkness, because we are afraid of what we might find, we have a gap between the two realms that's in front of you right now. There is a gap between your ideals and knowledge and your actual experience, and there is a gap between the ideals and books and your rich experiences. There is a gap, and I need you to close that gap. I need you to understand why it is important to bring these two together in order to have power, seduction, mastery and strategy in everything that you do it's real thank y'all for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe it's your boy 50 moves ahead I'm out